going on everybody this is Ron from OAS we're gonna do a quick build and review of the VTX Assassin using the TVS Unifier Pro V3 here on the side of the Pro V3 there are some uh, copper solder pads that you can use to control the VTX uh, power it and send signal here in the VTX Assassin there's multiple pin layouts this one here on the side is for the VTX Unified Pro V3 here is for the TBS Nano VTX and here is for the Unified Pro Race so like I said we're going to be using the V3 so if you put it on here properly you can see the copper solder pads line up perfectly so here these solder pads like I said will control the VTX these here are what you use to anchor it in place so it maintains that low profile look that you're going for with the vtx v3 so enjoy the speed ups and slowdowns hopefully you get some good knowledge out of the video Okay, here we go. So first thing I notice is that it does mount up pretty well. You do have to make sure that you tin both the VTX and the VTX Assassin. It makes it for a much easier connection. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention was that the VTX Assassin also houses your radio receiver. It can pretty much do any serial receiver. I'm using Crossfire, but you can use FreeSky or Spectrum. Now, once you've decided how you, you've gotten everything soldered up, you have to decide how you want to configure it in the back. Because I'm using Betaflight, I have to choose the pins and jumper, the solder pads for Betaflight. And I'm also going to use VTX control. So here, here we go. We're going to solder up these jumper pads. And this is what it looks like for my configuration. I would strongly recommend that you read the instructions and see what configuration best suits you. All right, here it is all soldered up and ready to go. I strongly recommend that you go to oashobby.com, go to the VTX Assassin product page and scroll down to the manual instructions. This is what it looks like when everything is soldered up and connected to the JST connection. Uh, it creates a very low profile, clean build. Um, and now only thing less to do is solder on the camera. All right, now that we're done with all the connections, you have to go into whatever operating system that you use, whether it be Betaflight, Butterfly, or Raceflight, and you have to resource the UARTs properly so that way you have access to the functionality that the VTX Assassin gives you. What I've done here is I've included some stills in the top right hand corner as I work through my interface system. Uh, if this video moves too fast or too slow or you don't understand it, you'd rather just read the manual, you can always go to oashobby.com, the VTX Assassin product page, and the user manual is located above the video at the bottom. So enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll show you some functionality behind it.
All right, once you've got all that done and set up, this is what you'll be able to do with your VTX. Power off, no longer emitting a signal. Power on, ready to rock and roll.